Here is a test problem. It is on rational functions and we will analyze this particular rational function which is f of x equals to x over x square minus 1. The question here is consider the rational function x over x square minus 1. Find the x-intercept, find the asymptotes, state the domain and range of the function, state positive negative and increasing decreasing intervals sketch graph of the function. You can pause the video and answer the question. That will help you to practice for your own test. Now let's begin by answering these questions one by one. The function given to us is f of x equals to x over x square minus 1. When we say find x intercept it means what? x intercept means the value of the function is 0, right? So that is what it means. x intercept means that f of x is equal to 0. Now that will be 0 if numerator is 0, correct? So simple as that, we'll equate x to 0 and that's our solution, right? So when you say find the x intercept, it will be at the origin itself. So we can write down this answer as 0, 0. Next one is find the asymptotes. Now, when we are looking into asymptotes, we are looking into horizontal, vertical, and oblique, correct? Now, since this equation has less factor this, so that becomes absolutely clear, x plus 1 times x minus 1 is our denominator, right? So, that clearly gives us two vertical asymptotes. One is at minus 1 and the other one is x equals to plus 1. So, we can write down here two vertical asymptotes which are which are at x equals to plus 1 and x equals to minus 1. So there are two vertical asymptotes. Now degree of numerator is one lower than the denominator. Since degree of denominator is higher we have a horizontal asymptote also right and the equation of horizontal asymptote will be x-axis which is y equals to 0. So these are the asymptotes state, domain and range of the function. Domain of this function is all values except when denominator is 0. So, so the domain could be written as x belongs to real numbers where x is not equal to plus minus 1. The vertical asymptotes, correct? How about the range? Now we'll look into the range later when we sketch it while the range has no restrictions for this particular function. I'm going to write it now, but we'll see it later. So range y is uh, y belongs to real numbers, right? So let me write this first. State positive, negative, and increasing, decreasing intervals. Sketch graph of the function. Now these questions I will answer after sketching the graph. It becomes very easy to answer those questions when you see the graph, right? So let me sketch a rough graph here. Normally in the test you will be given a grid and you can accurately sketch it. x square minus 1 is in the denominator. It is going to be 0 at x equals to plus 1 and minus 1. So we have two vertical asymptotes here. One is at minus 1, the other one is at plus 1. So these are my vertical asymptotes. Let me write down minus 1 for here and plus 1. Now. We already know that the x-intercept is the origin, so the graph goes through the origin. Vertical asymptotes we are taken care of. Horizontal asymptote is the x-axis, correct? So this is your horizontal asymptote. Now, what is important to check here is how are we approaching horizontal asymptote? If I write a big value, let's say minus 1000, square of that will be positive, so we get a positive value, correct? So we are approaching from the positive side. If I use plus 1000, we are again approaching from the positive side. So that is how we are approaching the horizontal asymptote, correct? Now, similarly, we should also figure out how are we approaching the vertical asymptote, that is 1 or minus 1. So if I write a value which is less than minus 1, right? For example, minus 1.1, this will be greater, right? So denominator will be greater, but numerator will be negative. Is that okay? So in that case, what happens? It, uh, it is approaching 
but it is we have to find a value here so we can use this equation that would be better right if I have a value which is more negative than minus 1 then this first factor is of course negative this factor will also be negative right and this is also negative so three negatives will give me negative value right so when you are approaching minus 1 from the negative side you are approaching negative value so you are approaching it on this side correct now I got this part wrong if you have minus thousand it is this numerator is positive uh, numerator is negative right so we are approaching from from the negative side it should be like this yeah that was creating a confusion so what I'm trying to say is if I write f of let us say minus thousand a negative large value then it is approaching zero but from the negative side correct a negative large value will make all these three things negative correct so we are approaching zero from the negative side okay so that's kind of the behavior which we have when we are approaching negative one from the left side if you're approaching negative one from the right side that is if you have a value like minus point nine in that case minus and minus this will be more negative this will be negative but this will become positive and this is negative two negatives one positive will give you positive so the behavior will be like this that is the behavior near the asymptotes which we are discussing right we know the x-intercept is origin now let's see the behavior near the vertical asymptote it is kind of important to understand it so when you are approaching one from the left side that means 0.9 so if I write 0.9 here, this is positive. 0.9 here, this will be positive, but this will be negative. So one negative will give me a negative value. So we are approaching negative infinity. However, if I take 1.1, all three will be positive. So I get a positive value. Is that okay? So the kind of graph which we will get will be like this. You can have some more values for the accuracy of the graph but for the time being this is good enough to sketch so the graph of this function will look like this now you can see that the range is all real numbers you may have a horizontal asymptote but still graph goes through origin and therefore zero is included correct and therefore let me write it in clear and bold that range for the function is y belongs to real numbers correct as you can see here perfect now let's answer these two questions state positive negative and increasing decreasing intervals when we say positive negative that means which part of the graph is negative and which part of the graph is positive we have to mention their intervals right so let's write down positive negative here so that means positive means f of x is greater than 0 that means positive right so the function is positive when you are between minus 1 and 0 right so the answer for this is from minus 1 to 0 it is positive right here also it is positive that is union 1 to infinity do you see that here also we are positive now f of x is less than 0 means negative interval the function is negative from negative infinity to negative 1 and from 0 to 1 right 0 to 1 it is negative that is what is meant by positive and negative and now we will look into increasing and decreasing right it's kind of different things now we we'll look into increasing and decreasing interval Increasing means where it is going higher and higher. Decreasing is lower and lower. You can see from the graph it is always decreasing, right? So it is always decreasing in its domain. Do you see that? So which we could write domain is from minus infinity to minus 1 and then from minus 1 to plus 1 and then from 1 to infinity so it is decreasing all throughout in its domain do you see that so that is kind of important to understand 
it is never increasing. So you could add that it is never increasing, right? So increasing interval, never. So this is how you have to answer this question. It is excellent question and it requires good knowledge and understanding of rational functions and their characteristics. I hope with this you get a very good practice for your own test. So look into this question in more details. Also try to understand behavior of the function near its asymptotes since it helps you to do this kind of graphing. Otherwise what you can do is pick up some values, right? So make a table of values, that's another option. Take some values, correct? For example, you can take additional values as x equals to minus two and then you can have minus half, plus half and two. That will help you to give few points and accurately sketch your graph. So that's my suggestion. Add some values to whatever we did and that should help you to get full marks for this kind of question. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.